Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Beast Like Bentley. Before we begin, I want to talk about something, and that is giving your dog some supplements. Now, this is not sponsored in any way by Pet Naturals, but this is what we use for joint health. If you're worried that your husky may have hip dysplasia, this is a really good option just to give some extra support in the hip and joint. Bentley Light seems to like it a lot, and so this is a really good option. And on the back, it also tells you if how much they weigh, how many tablets you should give them daily, and it's really simple. So let's get into it. Let's talk about boarding. What to do if you're going for a holiday, maybe you have to go somewhere for work and you don't know what to do with your Husky. You don't wanna leave them at home alone. Maybe there's nobody to come and walk them every day, or, and maybe you don't wanna leave them with your relatives because you know how your Husky behaves and you're a little worried. So what to do? Well, there's a few options. One, you can leave them with a friend. If you have a friend who already has a Husky or or another dog and your husky has been there to play several times then that's a good option if they're willing to put up with them for a while the second option is boarding now boarding can be a little scary because when they close at night they're stuck in a cage and a lot of places don't have a playful area for them to play around in. you have to do your research and check out a few locations we bring Bentley to several places where we either really like the owner and we know that the owner is gonna let him out and run around and then we have another place where there's a pool and a park and they also have a play area where he can hang out pretty much all all day long but there's a few steps that you have to take before just ditching your dog to board you have to bring them there imagine if you got dropped off to a new place like your first day at school and you're really shy and scared because you don't know anybody you don't know the the layout of the land and so you're scared imagine your dog going to a new place they're already comfortable with your house and how you do things and then all of a sudden boom you drop them off at a foreign place and now they're like hey what the heck guys so that can be really stressful for your dog and so you want to bring your dog there let them sniff around maybe leave them there for daycare for a day tip number two when leaving your husky at boarding is make sure that there's stuff for them to do. We personally do not agree with people who leave dogs in a cage for a few days to a month on end, just stuck in a cage. Sure, they might get let out every now and then, but for the majority of the time in boarding, they just stay in a cage and we don't really agree with that. So we have a place, like I said, that has a park and a pool and we make sure that they take them out at least once a day, unless it's raining. So Bentley is a little spoiled, but we're fortunate that we have a location here where he's able to go out and run around when we are on vacation. And then the last thing is make sure that you give them enough food. Nothing is worse than not being prepared. So we make sure that we provide a big Ziploc baggie with the post-it note or two that tells exactly how much food that they need to be giving your dog. Now, if they're a husky puppy, they have different requirements. And so you want to be able to talk to the boarding and make sure that they understand that you that your dog has special requirements for the time being. And hopefully those requirements are met. Now, when you get back and you notice that maybe your dog is a little depressed or just don't seem right, maybe it's not the best place to board your dog. I mean, you don't really understand what's going on. It's not like you can just talk to your pup and go, hey, like, how was boarding? But you can kind of tell with their, with their attitude and what's going on. So just be mindful of that. Boarding can be very scary, especially for the owners. I mean, every time we're, we're on holiday, we're always worried, even though we trust the place that we go to, we always ask them for some photos or videos of Bentley playing around. And I highly recommend that you do the same. You know, it doesn't take, it's not that hard. Just ask them for a quick 30 second clip of, hey, how's my dog doing? And hopefully they provide that and hopefully he looks happy. Now, last and final tip is you might want to get them groomed. This is a perfect time for them to get washed. So when you pick up your Husky, they're smelling fresh, they're clean, they're trimmed, and you don't have to take them there again if the boarding has that type of service. So that's kind of a benefit. Look for all these things rolled into one. If they have uh, a dog park, if they have a pool, and if they do do grooming there. So 
that is a plus side because if they're in the cage and if they're not used to being in a cage and they might, you know, go to the bathroom while they're in there, you don't want to pick up your dog smelling like poo poo. You know what I mean? So Bentley here, he gets groomed just about every time we take him to boarding unless we just have to go somewhere overnight. Um, but typically if we're gone for a week or so, we're gonna get him washed and everything like that. So that is our tips, guys. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you guys do when you guys go on holiday. Do you leave them with your family? How does that go? Do they destroy your family's house? Or do you take them to boarding? Is there a favorite place that you recommend in your location? Let us know, leave a comment down below. Anything can help, you know, any viewer that's watching. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, please share. That way we can get some more port on this Husky channel and hopefully Bentley can make some new friends. Until then guys, we'll see you again.